UK bank chaos continues as the banking giant RBS, which owns NatWest and Ulster Bank, have been forced to extend opening hours again today after a technical glitch last Tuesday prevented many of the bank's 7.5 million customers from accessing their accounts. The bank says the problem was caused by a software upgrade, which was fixed over the weekend. Although tests are continuing, leaving RBS with a huge backlog of payments to process for its 17.5 million customers. However, customers of Ulster Bank may have to wait until the end of the week until normal service is resumed. RBS confirmed that some customer accounts were still reporting problems due to account balances which had not been updated, while some have experienced missing salary and wage payments, while even others have been unable to pay their rent or mortgage repayments. The bank stressed that no one would be left out of pocket. And while a technical glitch is blamed, angry customers are asking how, in this computerised high-tech age, this type of thing could happen. And of course, who is to blame? It seems with the widespread outsourcing of technology and help desk to support to places like India and other countries, no one source can be directly blamed. This banking debacle forced the head of RBS, Stephen Hester, to make a full apology on the RBS website, where he said, I am very sorry for the difficulties people are experiencing. Our customers rely on us day in and day out to get things right, and on this occasion we have let them down. This should not have happened. In short, this current situation is the worst-case scenario for any bank to be experiencing. I am Anne Salter. Thanks for watching. For the latest news and updates on the RBS situation and the Eurozone crisis, follow me on our website at ivytimes.co.uk.